Sharky Gamer here. So today we're taking a look at the Epic Mickey The Power of Two Paintbrush. This is a nunchuck controller for Nintendo Wii, and it also works with Wii U. This is made by PDP, and it's an official Nintendo licensed product. So this is basically the paintbrush controller. There was also a second controller made for this, and that is called the Clicker Controller, which I have here. Now, I'll be doing the paintbrush review today, and the clicker review tomorrow. So if you want to check out to see what the clicker controller looks like and how it works, then be sure to keep an eye out for tomorrow's video. But one thing I just wanted to point out with both of them, just in case you actually bought both of them, if you put the packaging together, it matches the background image perfectly, and it kind of forms that castle in the background. I just thought it was a pretty cool little thing that they thought of, in case you buy both, you could put them right together and have sort of a cool looking display. I just thought it was a pretty cool little thing that. So yeah, if you want to check out the clicker controller, then keep an eye out for tomorrow's video. Alright, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the paintbrush. So this is the front of the box. You can see it says Epic Mickey, the power of two. And you've got a cool little image there of Mickey in the background. And of course, you've got a nice display window there showing you the actual nunchuck. It's got a, got a label here. It says, also works with Wii U. Brush lights up, changes color. And of course, there's your official Nintendo license product seal, as well as the PDP logo. Now, at the top here, you've sort of got a lentica little image there. And it's just showing you how the tip of the paintbrush changes color. So, blue and green. Moving on to the side of the box, you've got another cool image there of Mickey, and of course he's holding his paintbrush. And then moving down, it shows you the nunchuck connected to a Wiimote. The other side, it just basically has standard stuff. And of course the artwork sort of continues on. Moving on to the back of the box, you've got some screenshots there of the game, and below it it says, The paintbrush tip glows blue when Mickey paints the landscape. The paintbrush tip grows, glows green when Mickey Mouse erases the landscape. So it's just sort of advertising the color changing feature. And of course here it says, bring Epic Mickey into the real world with this light up paintbrush controller for Wii. Works like a nunchuck when playing Epic Mickey 2, the power of two. Features include a three foot cable and a soft silicon tip that glows blue and green. And of course there it's got a cool image of the actual paintbrush with its green tip. And of course it also advertises Oswald's Clicker, which again I'll be doing that tomorrow. The rest of the stuff is just different languages, so let's go ahead and open this up now and take a closer look at this controller. So, first up, you get a bit of documents here. They come in different languages. Um, they basically just going through connecting it to a Wiimote, um, how to disconnect it, etc. Nothing too hard, just a very basic kind of stuff. And then, of course, you have the actual paintbrush controller. And, of course, there's the artwork again with Mickey and that castle. Looks pretty cool. So moving on to the paintbrush. So first up, you can see the cable is at pretty decent length, considering this plugs in to your Wiimote. And of course, it's got like a wood grain type look handle, but of course it is made of plastic. But it does kind of look like wood. It does have that kind of wood finish, and it kind of feels like it too. So they've made the handle look like an actual um, paintbrush handle, you could say. Moving up, of course, you've got Epic Mickey Power of Two on the little silver piece there. And of course, this tip here, it's actually soft. And of course, it's got this white tip because that is where it actually glows. So this is where your glowing blue or green will come up. Moving down the controls, you've got your actual joystick here. And it feels quite nice, pretty smooth. And on the other side, you've got your C and Z buttons. 
So this basically just works like a standard nunchuck controller. It just looks like a paintbrush. So they've designed it to look just like a paintbrush. And if you remember, um, the original paintbrush controller that was released for the original Epic Mickey game, it looked pretty similar to this, except the only difference is the actual tip of the paintbrush didn't glow. So this tip actually glows when you plug it in, and also changes color when you do different functions. So I'll just grab a Wiimote to plug this in. So when you plug it in, basically how it works is it'll always glow blue. So when you turn your console on, it's going to glow blue. Like that. So it's always going to be blue when you actually got your console on, and uh, when you're playing your game. So like when you're painting the landscape, etc., it's going to go blue. But when you press the Z button on the bottom here um, to erase the landscape, it goes to green. I might just turn a light off here, just so you can see how it glows. So you can see it's it's pretty cool. If you hold in that Z button, it holds green. If you let go, it goes back to blue. So when you're playing the game and using this in the game, when you're pressing Z to erase your landscape, it'll go green, and then of course it'll go back to blue once you're done. So it's a cool little color change feature that they included. Just to kind of um, make it a bit different when you're playing the game, and it does look pretty cool when you're doing so. like that so it's a pretty cool looking controller and it works pretty well um, it just works just like your ordinary nunchuck and it looks pretty cool especially if you're an epic mickey fan and of course the idea is why they made two controllers the paintbrush as well as the clicker when both of them are basically nunchuck controllers is because power of two is advertised as a co-op game so the idea is you buy both of them, and of course player 1 has one, and player 2 has another one. So it's just another way of playing Epic Mickey, to feel like you're more in the game, um, more part of the theme I guess. And it, it does, does a pretty good job at that, it looks cool, and that colour changing is not a good improvement over the last paintbrush controller that they released. The last one just had a solid blue tip, it didn't actually change colour. And this is fairly light as well. Um, and I have to admit the detail they've added in that kind of wood uh, grain sort of look there. It looks pretty cool. And of course this is soft, so if kids are playing with it, it's not going to hurt them at all. It's pretty soft. So it's also kid safe as well. So yeah, that was the Epic Mickey, the Power of Two paintbrush. Um, very good controller. It works well. Um, excellent if you're an Epic Mickey fan. If you're not really an Epic Mickey fan, the only really reason I guess you would get it then is if you were sort of wanted something a bit different in terms of the shape of your nunchuck. So you're tired of the, like a standard nunchuck shape, and you want kind of a theme control that looks a bit different, then this is probably something for you. But really, I mean, you're only going to really like enjoy it as well as if you're playing the game with it. You can, of course, use this with any other game if you want to. Um, that change when you press the Z button the colors will still change no matter what game you're in But of course um, it makes sense more when you're playing the Epic Mickey game But yeah guys that was the Epic Mickey Power of Two paintbrush controller for Wii and tomorrow I will be doing the clicker controller so the second controller they released for the Power of Two game So if you're interested in seeing what the clicker looks like then be sure to check that video out but anyway guys, thanks for watching, I am Sharky Gamer. don't forget to subscribe, I'll have heaps more gaming, control and accessory videos up very shortly. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you want to, and if you like this video, hit that like button. Thanks for watching guys.